Chris represented New York City, and he was the first game we showed in this group stage a long time ago, and he lost it. And we were talking about the pressures. He was against Mo Sev when he went down 1-0. Meanwhile, we're seeing Costello getting a second goal there. He is looking confident right now. It's like, it's like the brakes have just come off. Well, it seems like he got a nice boost from the information I gave him that he's going to Berlin, whereas Carvajal seems to have a bit of a letdown, not performing to the same levels that he did. It seemed like just getting past hashtag Mike was enough of him, enough of the accomplishment. And now he's going to Berlin, so he, he still has something to feel good about. But at this point, you're so close to being the champion of this tournament. Why not see it through? <laughs> Carvajal smashes in an absolute screamer from kickoff. Yeah, maybe I spoke too soon. That was two passes from kickoff. Bump, bump, Suarez, turn, spin, goal. I think it's funny, whether you're playing this game in real life or FIFA 17, how easy goals come sometimes. Like, yeah, why can't we do that every single <laughs> yeah. time? I don't understand. Yeah, absolutely. Well, moving on, Rain 10. We've seen him scoring absolutely bags of goals so far. Let's see if Diddy Chris Leto from New York City FC can prevent him smashing in a couple more. Representing your hometown. Not my well, hometown. Current, currently my your current, town. My yeah. current town. I'm from Los Angeles. Uh, but yeah, I'm curious to see if Chris went with Lewandowski and where he, because he drops mm. Lewandowski pretty deep, which I always find in interesting. There. there he is. And there then, he is. Yeah, I like when it's he like makes It's like he's listening to you. It's just like, I'll tell you where he is. He's going to be a cam right now. Uh, we're going to switch I, I, him in I there. love when he puts Perisic in. I think he scored a bunch of goals with Perisic. Yeah. He's very good in the cam position. And he had Lewandowski, I think, in the maybe that first game against Mo7 when he was struggling a bit. Yeah. Left him on a little bit longer than I think he should have. And I just think he drops him too much. I appreciate what Lewandowski brings to the table. When you play him that deep, I just don't know if he's as effective. I want to keep my eye on, on, on Rain. What we saw was the just the clinical play some real big through balls just cutting his opponent in half and that's where a, a large portion of his goals were coming from you don't often see it working as well at this level but mm -hmm. he seems to be making it work so we'll keep eye on it didn't score any goals so I actually noticed it by the way both times you guys cut away from it when he was like six nil up mm -hmm. we cut away from it at 5-1 didn't score anymore it's just like you know what I'm off camera uh, I don't need to score anymore <laughs> I don't need to show <laughs> up I'm done <laughs> well, I think that shows, too, he knows how to kill off a game. He knows how to manage a game when he's got a lead. So even though he had a big lead and there's less pressure, instead of like a one-goal situation, uh, I think it's a sign of, of him being a complete player. Well, looking to try and get a first goal here is Chris as he just about gets a shot chance. Messi in the end comes off Manolas. Haven't seen too many people using Manolas, actually. Was a fairly big favorite in season one. Suarez, shot blocked. That's a great entry pass to Suarez. Suarez with a good turn, create some space. I thought if it didn't get blocked, that probably would have been a goal. Messi going alone at the moment. Suarez joins mm. him. To Marcos just cutting out at last. And that was what I was talking about. It seems that Rain loves to stretch the game out. If you're going to attack him, he's going to attack you right back. And those counter plays seem to work well for him. Messi, once again, wriggling his way through this time. Straight into the hands of Neuer. When you watch Rain attack, I think what he's very good at is he's he's patient when he has the ball, and he'll do a move to see how you're going to defend, and then he takes what you give him. He's very good at that. So I'll give you some stats for Rain. Obviously, we're in the winner bracket finals. He's potentially got, what, two, three more games to go. Depends if he gets to that grand final moment and has that uh, best of three as well mm. in the winner bracket finals, of course, what uh, we could get to in the, the grand finals. He scored 15 goals so far and let in three. Those are championship stats right there. And we know that from yesterday. Mm. M. Desari, M. S. Desari, excuse me, he had 30 goals for and five against yeah. in his run to be named champion. Still got a lot of goals to go. Maybe we're going to see one here. Suarez cuts oh. it in for Ronaldo. <laughs> I like to call that an emphatic finish. Very <laughs> well played at the end line. Straight power. He didn't even need to hit it top ins, but he did anyway. You want to bulge that net as much as you can, just to sort of rob it into your opponent. Chris, just before that one, well, he's got nine goals for him, and now five against so far. So, obviously, Rain gets his 16th goal of the tournament there. Yeah, yeah. good finish there from Rain. There was a mistake earlier, maybe a couple minutes before that, and that's how close, the, there's a thin line, let's say, between success and failure when you start to play in between the biggest guys. And Rain gave up a ball that I thought that Chris didn't take advantage of. It's 
20 yards away from goal and took a long, hopeful shot from Paris that she got, ended up getting blocked six, seven plays later to go on the back of the net for Rain. Well, Sergio Ramos quite far upfield there. Starting to play that defensive midfielder role that you like to think mm -hmm, yourself mm -hmm. uh, a part of. I fancy myself. Do you feel you have the passing ability to do it? Then pick over you know, the long passes? If I'm being honest with myself, <laughs> I would say depending on the day. Right. There were days I was very confident. The game seemed to be very slow and easy. And then other times it just seemed very hectic and chaotic and I couldn't I couldn't get control of it. And then I would turn over the ball a lot. And then, like some of the guys we've seen here playing today, yeah. you let it compound. Like one mistake turns into two mistakes, it turns into three mistakes, and you just can't get out of your own way. How do you I find, had that problem. How do you find the level stepped up? I mean, obviously, we can talk about that in comparison to these guys. That they would be sat at home, smashing out the 40 games a week against weaker opponents, mm -hmm. it's safe to say. Obviously, they get here uh, as akin to yourself. You know, you get into the MLS or the World Cup, and you notice that level step up. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how, do you be, how do you cope with it? I, I think... Well, you cope with it by trying to play as simple as possible. Yeah. That's first and foremost. But for me, the biggest difference is there's less mistakes with each step. And then for the mistakes that you do make, you get punished. So if you're playing, let's say, at the high school level, you can get away with maybe giving up a ball because the, other, the opponent isn't good enough to punish you. And then as you keep making those steps to university or college and then into the pros and then for your national team, nobody makes mistakes. And if you make the slightest, slightest mistake, it's going to be in the back of your neck. It's also highlighted on TV multiple times yes. over and over <laughs> yeah. in, a, in a loop on, on TV, <laughs> yeah, on that. the news highlights, every sports channel. And then, of course, you could make it to the bloopers of the year. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot to avoid. And, and I think as these guys continue to play in competitive tournaments, specifically in this one, they're going to be more visibility and more accountability, yeah. not just from their friends and family or whoever's sponsoring them, but also from the general public. Yeah, you all the direct feedback through it. social media is a, a thing these days that a lot of players have to deal with. Uh, both in FIFA and in real life. Suarez knocking his way through. Still just the 1-0 here. A quiet game for Rain in all comparison, but <laughs> Ramos finds Ronaldo. Might try and you. back this one away. Modric back to Messi. Finds a little space poor tank. Just cuts the pass out to Ronaldo. Maybe a little too cute at that point. 12, 15 yards away. Looking for that 1-2 in the middle of the box. A little bit difficult, especially with Chris packing up the middle. Is he going to take the shot on Modric? Yes, he is! <laughs> 2-0, it looked like he was setting up for it, just on the edge of the box. Laid up perfectly for Modric to just hammer it home. Good touch. As we said before, I thought he forced it in the middle. Tried to get too deep. There's just too many people coming around. Modric with a late run, nice pass, and a great finish. Chris has got some work to do here. Well, half-time beckons. And a goal just before half-time. We saw him do uh, exactly the same thing before. It can really turn the game in your favor and obviously you got to look towards the opponent he's going to be thinking okay i'm two no down now i really need to make some changes he has to make some changes but when do you make those changes mm. i think that well, think is it, think if he's already took Lewandowski off he has he's already which i thought was the right sub, move yeah. anyway so there's there's definitely been some subs that have happened but now when does he press when does mm. he push because it's clear that rain will be able to counter knows how to counter knows how to manage a game we talked earlier about how he had these big leads didn't score much in the second half but didn't give up any goals either. Now, here's the first goal from Rain. We're talking about how many he has scored. And this has been a fairly common one for him. It's known as the sweaty goal. Ronaldo hammering it home from the simple cutback pass. And then a second one just on the edge of the box from Luka Modric. By assist from Sergio Ramos, by the way. Mm. Hat tip to a defender. Setting up a he defensive midfielder to score the goals. Oh, I'm making your dreams come true. That's what we do here at the FUT Champions final, Jimmy. And uh, we have got an update from one of the lower bracket games between Hashtag Mike and Yoga Seth. Now, this is effectively an elimination game. If you lose it, you unfortunately leave the, the, pro the process, the tournament. Uh, if you win it, you go through to the next stage of the lower bracket. You can see their stats there. Yoga Seth picked up one more win than Mike did. Mike did lose a game in the group stage. We're going to take a look at how this game went down. It's still happening, actually, as we speak. This is what's happened thus far in this match. It was a lively start. Nice bit of action. Obviously, Yoga Seth made a lot of people uh, stand up and take note in the group stage with some big performances, as did Mike knocking out uh, some big lads in the group and then taking on Marbs as well. But the first blood went to Yoga Sesk, got a turn in the box, so perhaps a little bit lucky with a deflection of a defender, but then took his finish really well there with Ronaldo, putting him 1-0 up in this big, big game. That was just the third minute that goal went in. And uh, Mike looked to get a little reply here as Pogba putting the ball to Suarez. Again, trying to hold on to it. Ball ricochets nicely to him. George Best, brilliant turn. 
and there's the equaliser. So Mike was back in it at this stage, but Yoga Sesk plays some very, very good FIFA here. Uh, Messi on the edge of the box, very fast feet, right footed finish, past the keeper, 2-1 then to Yoga Sesk, and he wasn't done then. Messi doing some great work on the right-hand side, taking on a couple of defenders. Neuer makes the first save, but the rebound falls back to Yoga Sesk, who puts it in the back of the net. I think it was Luis Suarez that picked up the goal. He loves those sort of areas, you know, those little poachers finishes. So it's 3-1 here, just into the second half, and then Messi gets the ball through to Luka Modric, I believe, who made it 4-1 to Yoga Sesk, and it looked like the game was beyond Mike at this point. I do believe that since then, Mike has got one back, and I can see in the corner of my eye there's actually a penalty in this game as well. So it's all kicking off, guys. We'll keep you updated with the final scores and any other goals and action we see along the way. Back to you for now. Yeah, lots of goals going on there. Poor old Mike looks like he may well be tumbling out of the <laughs> tournament after almost reaching the winner bracket I final. Know, so close. And then we have a lot of stories here mm. about guys getting very close. Chris being one of them. He's yeah. got a lot of work to do in the second half. Well, here we go. Rain 2 0 up in the first half, scoring just before the end of the first half. May well get himself a second, uh, a third, sorry, here as he tries to cut straight inside. I'll give you the rest of the scores as and when they come. I can tell you, I think Gustella won the Xbox bracket and he is into the grand final for the Xbox now took that one 2-1 over Carvajal yeah, nice result there for Guastella seemed like he was going to win by a lot more goals than that Carvajal comes back into the game but good to see him excited to see how he does in the grand final it's 5-3 uh, that Yoga Sess game now by the way <laughs> Mike just scoring one in the uh, dying seconds of the game, so it looks Bubbles! like it will be Mike Bubbles! going out of the tournament. In, uh, well, you could say it's style. I mean, you got, you're scoring in the 93rd minute. You're happy about that, but you're like, not happy that you're not going to Berlin. So hashtag Mike goes down. Meanwhile, here Chris representing New York City, looking to get Good himself a pass. goal. Alaba to Niangalan can't get past that defense. So. And that's something we should talk about. We've been talking about the goals for Rain. We haven't been talking about the defense. He's only let three in so far. Yeah, which is pretty incredible. And, and given that, that Chris needs multiple goals to, to get into this game, and Rain hasn't given up multiple goals in one game up to this point, it doesn't look so good for Chris. But Chris is incredibly talented, and I don't think this game is over by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, Boatang. <laughs> it's playing with Ronaldo hanging off his back there. Up to Perisic. Oh, what a move. That's a foul, though, yeah. <laughs> someone not happy with Messi, I think, is the uh, phrase. I did hear actually earlier on someone complaining about Messi's finishing, saying uh, How is that he's possible? bad finishing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I've seen more great weak foot goals yeah. from him. Oh, it was it was <laughs> Vamos. Oh, okay, it was Vamos. I didn't hear that. Sorry, he scored. He scored with Messi. There <laughs> we go. It, he's got good, got it, got Messi. Got As you said, how could oh, someone yeah, complain well, about what Messi? How, like, how is this possible? Yeah, how is this possible? <laughs> what kind of world are we living in? <laughs> Um, let's give you a couple of other scores. Uh, Peru. Yes. Beat your man, Marbs, 3 0. <coughs> Beat your man, Marbs. Well, then Marbs and I are going to have a conversation. Yeah, and of course, uh, Yoga Sesk, <laughs> I think it was 5 3 in the end, took down hashtag Mike. So it's going to be uh, Yoga Sesk versus Peru. That is in the lower bracket final. And of course, that will be for the final place in Berlin. Yeah, there's a That's lot on at the stake. Xbox series. A lot at stake in those games. Should be really fun to see how these guys perform. And with, with, a, with a chance to go to Berlin, I know you and I are going to be there, but, but all that hard work coming down to 90 minutes. Well, we, I like to think we've put some hard work in as well, Ooh. but not as much as these guys. Woo. Shot from Chris there, flies on by. Rain still holds a 2-0 lead. Scored 17 goals and counting so far. Let's see if you can reach that 30 mark we saw from Dasari yesterday. And of course, the... Grand final is a best of three, it so is. there's a chance for a lot of goals in there. Yes. Messi, great cutback for Niangalan, oh. and Chris gets himself yeah, one back. he's back in. Niangalan does well, finds himself in a great spot, gets it out of his feet, goes through two oh. players' legs, and Donovich cannot see it at all. Pogba's Almost got so the close. triple meg there, yeah, which Pogba. would have been an incredible goal, and a good finish. Oh, oh they call it an own goal. They end up giving it an own goal. Niangalan's going to be gutted with that. I would be too. <laughs> I don't think it was enough to, to warrant an own goal. Well, we'll see what Rain does. It's not often that he finds himself in a position where he only has a one-goal lead. Yeah, that's, that's just, just harsh. 
I mean, that looked like as straight as an arrow. It, it was did. like pinpoint arrow it shot really there. Did. Of course, you guys, uh, the FIFA 17 Ultimate Team Championship Series is brought to you by Sparco. It's a chair, ladies and gentlemen. Visit it at sparkousa.com. And it is the comfy chair that Chris is currently sitting in. And of course, the FIFA Ultimate Team Championship Series is also brought to you by Mr. Speaker. Visit mrspeaker.com. The headphones provided to keep rain comfortable during the game. <laughs> Oh, it's a bad giveaway from Rain right off the kickoff. Just gave up a goal. You got to get that momentum back. Put your foot on the ball. Take the air out of it again. And find your way back in. Because right now, it seems like Chris has got a... Well, I'd like to call it momentum. Well, I mean, a lot of people argue momentum's not a real thing. But, I mean, I, physics doesn't lie. <laughs> but does it really well, happen in sports? I, I think it does 100%. I've been on the field where you feel like you can't do anything right. And the other team gets confidence. And all of a sudden, they get this energy that you really can't put oh. your finger on. Wow, what a through ball. What a chest. You'd be happy with that, wouldn't you? Oh, Take what a that pass. On. Straight oh, to Suarez. Back heels into Ronaldo. Oh, no. Maybe a touch too much. Oh, oh the side That could have been the goal of the Suarez. tournament. I mean, yeah. Just that whole setup and sequence. The initial chest down from Suarez. The cheeky back heel one-twos. That would have been an epic goal. But it wasn't. It wasn't. And should he have taken a shot earlier on? That's one for debate from the analysts later on to break things down. As it stands, it is still 2-1 to rain who could be the champion, or, well, certainly one step away from being the champion for the PlayStation, of course. This is for a place in the Grand Finals. Both of them already qualified, of course, for oh. Berlin. I'm Sergio Ramos. I'm upset about that. It looked like a nice, clean tackle. But quick play. Good step up there. We're starting to see Chris being a little more direct with his play as well, looking for those big, clean through balls. Suarez has got Pogba available on the right. It's dead, OK. I think he caught everyone off guard there. <laughs> you know what, I'm going to back heel it back to the halfway line. Maybe catch everyone off guard. Suarez for Chris into Messi. Looking to try and steal it through. Niangalan, unhappy about missing out on one goal. Looks like he's not going to get another as that <laughs> ball spins off Messi's There's leg. Still time. There's still time for him to get back in there and get one of his own. <laughs> but yeah, I'd have a word with uh, the official scorekeeper. We're going to name our... Neymar seems to be a, a substitution of choice when you're trying to kill off a game because he's so good at holding the ball in the corner. And obviously, his attacking prowess is unmatched, one of the top players in the world. Okay, Suarez. He just wanted to give, like... I think, uh, I think a fan wanted a souvenir. Yeah. yeah. Give it the ball boy. <laughs> was, I don't know what he was thinking there, but either way, he went well off the pitch. Sloppy passing here in the last few minutes. Somebody needs to get control of this game. So, Ronaldo. To Suarez for Rain in the red. Looking to try and push his opponent. 2 1 was the score in the semi finals. And of course, he just hammered it home in the last round 5 1. Ramos wins it back in the midfield. Good battle there. Gets his back behind the ball, but he's lost out. But Chris has just got five minutes remaining here to try and. Pull something back and take it to extra time. Martial looking for that through wall to Hamsik. Can't quite shred it in. Neymar oh. back in. This is a good chance counter. Sergio Ramos upfield again. Sets off Neymar. Oh, Neymar. Neymar with the first touch. Just a little too strong for Sergio Ramos. Great defending by Sergio Ramos, but I love the hold up play by Neymar up, up until that point. It's so key as an attacker or as your team transitions from defense to offense to have someone that can hold the ball up and allow you to do it, give you the time to do it. And Neymar let a great entry pass. Here we go. Nice through ball through. Ronaldo has to finish it, and he does. In the 89th minute, Ronaldo, NYC, Chris with the equalizer, 2-2, two to two, and Rain has to be incredibly Cuts disappointed. It. He yeah. hasn't given up multiple goals in a game throughout this tournament. And how he gives up a breakaway with five minutes left. If he's playing a high line, I just don't know if that was the best decision. Maybe when you have 10 minutes left in the game, you drop your guys back. But an excellent play by Chris. Great finish under a lot of pressure. And now the game is tied 2-2. Up until this moment, he'd only let three goals in in the entire tournament. Yeah. Now it's five. Almost. He should be ashamed of himself. He should be ashamed of himself. <laughs> um, well, I mean, he's given up a 2 0 lead. That's, that's probably well, yeah, what that's... he's going to be more worried about. But there is still four minutes extra time to go here. And that's Hamsik going down to a heavy challenge. Suarez. Interesting free kick position. Could try and go for the pass or a little chip through ball. I'm look, keeping my eye on Ronaldo. Looks like he's dangling off the back of Messi at the moment. 
Where's he going with this one? Working something. Tries to chip through ball. Ronaldo heads it. Sergio Ramos no through to Pogba. Oh. oh, Ramos gets the block in there. Almost turns oh. it. Pogba back to Ronaldo. Stepped into the side. Oh, oh what a save by The rebound is there. But DeMarcos clears. I feel like he had Neymar running in. If he wanted to slot that pass, he had it at his disposal. Chose to keep it with Ronaldo. Good block there. Good save by Neuer. It's 2 2. Scenes here in this game. These are the two best competitors in the PlayStation division, and this scoreline has proven that. Yeah, uh, so from a 2 0, what looked like a really comfortable lead from Rain is slipped away from him. Chris has worked his way back into this one magnificently. We talked about momentum, we talked about it's it. It's a real thing. It's a real, it's thing. a real thing, and it's happening right here. Rain, he's been fairly quiet after his games. Chris was frustrated. You saw the frustration in his face when he scored that first. You know, just angry with himself. And actually, I talked to Marco yesterday. He's probably around here somewhere. And I discussed it. Obviously, he scored his equalizer yesterday. And he was just angry. And I was like, Why, what, what was that reaction about? He's like, because I'd missed so many opportunities. And I should not have been 1-0 down at that moment. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly, I think, what we're seeing from Chris here. Angry with himself for letting those two early goals in. But here we are in extra time. Yeah, this should be an interesting start to this as to who's going to come out and attack and who's going to wait. I mean, there isn't that much time in these two extra time periods, but there is enough for you to kind of feel out how this is going to go and to see if your opponent made any changes. Well, I'm sick for Neymar. Once again, Rain pushes forward. That's a through ball that's not going to get past Boateng. We've seen a couple of them sneaking their way through, but not this time. Chris has definitely tightened up things at the back there. Ronaldo. I would say also from the rain perspective, it's he seems I don't say rattled. Rattled sounds yeah. strong, but he seems a little uncomfortable for the first time all tournament. Well, some score updates for you down the bottom there as the defense of Chris does its work. Altair 5-1 over JKO. He gets through to the lower bracket finals against Mamba, who's taken down TCD 2-2-1. Ronaldo! Ooh. Oh, nearly! That Goes would have been a there. very tight angle to score from. Yeah, very tight, but finds himself in a good spot. Signal of intent, as I like to say, yeah. from Chris. But he's coming at it. He's going, he's going for the win here. Not just, not just settling for penalties. No, nobody wants to settle for penalties, especially in a winner bracket final, that's for sure. Ronaldo, it's going to be a foul. Ramos pulls it back, goes for the quick free kick. Not sure whether he should have maybe set something up there, but he oh. finds a great ball to great Ronaldo. Can turn and shoot. Oh. Block comes in from the angle and knew he had to block it. Ronaldo back. It's not over yet. Pogba going to try the long Ooh. range. Just over. Good sequence there. Good sequence there from Rain. Good defending there by Chris. Three guys are tackling. Everybody's flying all over to make it happen. I love the energy from this team right now. So, first half of extra time. About to come to a conclusion. No goals so far. Just the two in regulation. Ronaldo for Chris. Pushing it down the wing. He's got two minutes extra time. He's bought himself a chance to get the pass in. He's gone back in the end to the angle and not really where he wanted to go. Martial finds himself a bit of space. Oh, the pass comes across. Suarez. Yeah, not really going to be able to throw a foot at that one. So, 15 minutes. What do you do at this moment? You're going to be exhausted both mentally and physically. Ready and waiting to go. 15 minutes to go before penalties. I think you're going to get one or two good opportunities. You want to limit, obviously, your opponent doing the same. But I think both teams are going to get it. Who can step up and, and concentrate and have the composure in those moments could save themselves from the unfortunateness that is penalties. Because that's a coin flip once you get there. I mean, anybody can win. And there is some skill attached and some strategy, of course. But, you know, you play, you play so much to have a game settled just by that sometimes doesn't feel fair. Well, Chris has shown some great composure so far from his opening game, losing in the groups to coming back from two goals oh, no. down here in the winner bracket final. Ooh, a little scrappy. It's chancy. It's risky defending, as they say. Alibas passed down the wing. Hopeful, if anything. Right. Kalabi on now. Okay, so change at the back, I think. For Rain, maybe a tired defender. I didn't see who he actually took off. I wasn't keeping my eye on the substitution changes. He's took off uh, Boateng, hasn't he? Didn't he have Boateng back then? No, no. Oh, Ramos. Ramos has gone, I believe. Neymar looking for the uh, through ball. I mean, tries just... to get into Ronaldo. Oh, the little tap for Suarez was there, but cut out at the last. Everything changes when you play, when you beat 
a defender. Because once you beat one guy, then somebody else has to slide over. And when they slide over, it's going to create space for somebody else. Working I thought Rose Angles. Yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt there. But Rain did, I thought, very well yeah. to, to beat the first guy. And he let him off the hook. Oh, there was a pass. Suarez, Suarez just won it back out of nothing. This could be a gift. Oh, great no, defending. but DeMarcos. The center back of all people there to take the shot. And that means he's out of position right now. There's a positional overlap. Hamsik, if you can get a quick through ball to Ronaldo, you can see him making strides down the wing. There will oh, be a position, Boateng. but strength from Boateng. Love it. That was one of my strengths, the strength. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm a beanpole. Yeah, I was going to say, you're not quite got the muscle bean, no. muscle bound warrior no. of Boateng. Suarez looking for that through ball. It's He's on. got Messi off the side. The ball is on. Messi, oh, oh. the touch lets him down. I thought he made the right decision by, by taking the touch as opposed to hitting it first time. But Penalties. Yeah, we're there. Just one minute, one chance. Suarez to Ronaldo. Oh. No. Why Ramos put it in the air is there. there. Keep it on the ground. Long ball chance maybe from Messi. Oh, no. Slides it through. This is it. Suarez, oh, the no. last touch. Oh, oh what a the save. save. The rebound's oh, what a not save. there. And that wow, was it. That, is that was the moment for Chris to get the Chris winner. Chris had it on a platter there. And Donovic, wow, what a save. Here we go. Penalties. <laughs> Nanglin trying to make up for uh, his own goal that he didn't get credit for. Well. He's got the racing stripe on his head. <laughs> oh. There it is. Casual, cool, calm, collected. Oh, not, even, not even waiting. Rain oh. penalty. Finds it low Sergio. and hard. The keeper was there. Ramos. Ah, oh, Perisic. Where's he going to go? Is the keeper going to dive this time? He's taking a long run. Perisic, Didi Chris Lito tries oh, to sneak it in. Oh, oh the keeper had a hand to it. Ooh, sigh of relief Here indeed. Neymar. Kind of like Rain style. No like once it turns to him, he just goes. Yeah. There's no win around, no shifting, not repositioning, not stepping back, not doing any poses. I want to see the dudek legs. That's what I want to see. Or actually, oh, to be fair, oh. I should say the Grobelar legs. The Grobelar legs. Grobel legs is where it's from. But save there, there big one. Rain. Oh. oh, it's been the same position every time, by the way. Rain has scored put it every three times in the bottom line. Maybe he's setting him up from Suarez. Hand wrapped, ready to go. Has to score it. Classy. Gets it in. Good classy finish there. Keeps chance alive for Chris. Number four, possibly here, for Suarez. Oh, oh four, four times the right in the corner. exact same spot for Rain. Is that a mind game or is he going to do it again? Has to score it to stay in the game. Ronaldo. From the spot, takes a long run up. Chris, oh, oh save! Another save. That's it. Rain will Rain take it. Is in the going winner bracket. through. And of course, he will be exciting through. Exciting penalties finals. for an exciting game. Chris is going to be kicking himself. Yeah. Because he had that opportunity at the end of extra time, one on one with Handanovic.